It's 2004, and a fresh-faced Mark Zuckerberg is probably sitting in his dorm room, dreaming up ways to rate hot college students. Fast forward to today, and that little project has morphed into the behemoth we know as Meta, with nearly 3 billion people scrolling through their feeds every month. That's more people than the entire population of China, folks. But Meta's not alone in this digital playground. We've got the whole gang. Instagram for your perfectly filtered life. Snapchat for those messages you hope disappear. Spoiler, they don't. Reddit for arguing with strangers. WhatsApp for family group chats you can't escape. YouTube for cat videos. TikTok for dance crazes. Telegram for, well, let's not go there. And Twitter, the platform that makes you question humanity on a daily basis. Now here's where it gets spicy. All these platforms are like a giant virtual cocktail party where you're rubbing elbows with friends, strangers, and that weird guy who keeps trying to sell you cryptocurrency. But what happens when someone crashes the party and steals your VIP pass? Imagine waking up to find your account posting ads for sketchy weight loss pills, or worse, your grandma getting a message from you asking for her credit card info. Yikes! According to the folks at Gitnux, there are about 1.4 billion attacks on social media platforms monthly. That's like if every person in India decided to become a hacker for a day. So how do these digital ne'er-do-wells get their grubby hands on your account? Let's break it down. Phishing. It's like phishing, but instead of catching bass, you're reeling in passwords. And let me tell you, some of these fake sites are so convincing, they'd fool a cybersecurity expert on their fifth espresso. For instance, attackers might use tools like SET, Social Engineer Toolkit, to create convincing phishing emails and fake websites. Password spraying. Imagine a hacker with a super soaker filled with common passwords just spraying away at login pages. Tools like Hydra or Medusa can automate this process, trying out a multitude of password combinations across many accounts. Keyloggers. These sneaky little programs are like that friend who remembers everything you say, but uses it for evil instead of surprising you on your birthday. Software like Black Shades or hardware keyloggers that plug into a USB port can record every keystroke you make, capturing sensitive information like passwords and credit card numbers. Network sniffing. If your connection isn't encrypted, you might as well be shouting your password in a crowded room. Tools like Wireshark or Aircrack NG allow attackers to capture and analyze data traveling over a network, revealing everything from emails to login credentials. But fear not, you can fight back against these digital desperados. Here's how to do it. Check that URL like your life depends on, because online it kind of does. Tools like URL Void or Virus Total can help you verify the safety of a website before you visit it, making sure you avoid malicious sites. Use passwords longer than your coffee order. Think less passwords like this and more like this. Password managers like LastPass or 1Password can help you generate and store complex passwords so you don't have to remember them all. Arm yourself with antivirus software and firewalls. Think of them as your digital bodyguards, but with less sunglasses and more binary code. Programs like Norton, McAfee, or Bitdefender can help protect your system from malware and unauthorized access. VPNs, because nothing says try and hack me now, like an encrypted connection. Using VPN services like NordVPN or ExpressVPN can encrypt your internet traffic, making it much harder for anyone to intercept and decipher your data. Keep an eye on those breaches. Websites like haveibeenpawned.com are like a Carfax for your online account. They can notify you if your email addresses or passwords have been compromised in a data breach allowing you to take action to secure your accounts immediately. Remember, in this digital jungle, you're your own best defender. So keep those shields up, your wits about you, and maybe consider going off the grid and living in a cave. Stay safe out there, and may your DMs free of spam. This is Cyberflow, signing off and changing all my passwords just in case.